Good evening. Yes, it is Tuesday, and I'm live because I'm not gonna be here on Friday. So it's Tuesday retro tabletop combo wombo thing. <laughs> Hello, Orange Coverman. I'll see you later, Azure. Uh, <laughs> what is what, Vickery? What is Draken? What, what are you? What is Draken? Um, are you gonna slam me with flowers? Oh, water. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I got my water. Hello, bird moms, and welcome to oh, Jason. The comments are cool. Yeah, and no one, and no one commented on me being late today because today is unexpected. <laughs> I was feeling a bit bad about like skipping Friday, and then I remembered because there's been this post going around on Twitter about how. Like, oh, this is my first post as a VTuber. Here's like my first introduction post and stuff like that. And I was thinking, what was my first post? And then I went back. You know, I created my Twitter account in November of 2021. My first post was actually a response to someone else. You know what it was? It was a 14 meme. My first post, my, vi my most popular video on YouTube is something that I made before I was like a proper VTuber when I was waiting on my uh, design and stuff, and it was, it's a fucking 14, it's just like a 5 second 14 meme. I, it, no, you guys can't escape it, you guys, I am fine wallowing in my 14 brain rot. <laughs> no, it was not about feet, it was a, uh, it was a gif combined with a sound clip from the voice actor for Urianje. Uh that was Pace, not my sub. That's what it is. That's all it is. Someone got him to say the line at a con or something, and I just kind of combined, yeah, a GIF. Yeah, a GIF. I actually, I cleaned out a bunch of my stuff, so you could, I could link, I could link the YouTube video again. It's like literally five seconds. Um, but yeah, it's also like my very, very first Twitter, Twitter thing. It's not like my first regular tweet or anything like that, but it was a, it was a, what is the word? A reply. Yeah, and you know what my first stream was? My first stream that wasn't. Yeah, my first stream was Final Fantasy fourteen. <laughs> so um. Yeah, look, I. <laughs> I'm. I will be streaming fourteen because they're doing an event, and I'm gonna try and make it not spoilery. I'll just do like regular fishing or something. Uh, cause you have to have six, do you have to watch six hours? And a lot of people are gonna be doing current content, so I might just like do chill, non-current content in the background for it. But yeah, yeah, 14, 14, 14, 14, where's that, where's that video? I, I, sometimes I think about deleting it, but it's kind of like, you know what, whatever. Um, that was pay us not mine sub. Where is the video link? Okay, here we go. It sounds like AI, but I, I promise you this video is from, like, November 2021. AI was not big. AI was not, was not big. Like, the, the, the fake stuff. So that, that's the link to the video of my very first tweet content. And also my first YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what's your name? Uh, also... Oh, is there anyone else? Uh, what do you mean 100% the... Oh, the intro screen being cute is 100%. Thank you. But I don't know about the dragon thing. I don't know what that's gonna be about. Uh, Dawn Trail is not quite... Here. I actually have to go back to 14 tonight after stream to finish working on stuff because I actually haven't... I need to upgrade... I need to upgrade a few things, and I need to log into my house, and I need to deal with my inventory. I partially dealt with my inventory, but there's still a lot more to deal with. But until then, yeah, I actually have been slacking. Ever since I started streaming, and I'm not streaming 14 stuff, I used to play 14 like every single day. Every day. But since starting streaming, not so much, so I'm actually quite behind on a lot of things. Um, uh, yeah. 
fishing trip stream. Me too. Like I should, if I had been like on it, I would have been able to do a lot more fishing than I currently have been doing. But today we're here for video game. <laughs> different video game, different video, different fantasy video game. Let me, let me grab it out. It is, oh, oh, I'm gonna reset this so you guys can see the opening part because it's really cute, actually. Also, I have to change this. Presented by Pony Canyon. Audio might be a little funky for. Make your fortune in New Flan. The city council of New Flan is seeking heroes to free the city from the evil hordes. Riches, fame, glory. The council seeks heroes of all kinds to battle for fame and fortune. Legends will be written about these adventures. See the New Flan city council for more information. The new, <laughs> new Flan city council. So yeah, that's that's the very opening of it, and you only get to see it once. It doesn't like cycle. But yeah, I I went shopping and there were two. I only saw this one actually. I saw this this game on a shelf. And it was sort of a huh. I wonder how much it is. And then I had it in my hand. It was kind of a oh yeah sure yeah. It's not that bad. <laughs> oh good. That's why I read it out. But yeah, um, it is a little quick. There was Heroes of the Lance right next to it, but I didn't actually. That one didn't catch my eye because of the uh, spine that they had on it in the container. I could have probably picked that up. I don't know how much it was, because but I'm assuming it was at least twenty dollars because everything behind the counter, everything behind glass is like at least twenty dollars. <clears throat> uh, but apparently this had been sitting on the shelf for a few months, and it came I think in the same batch as like here's Lance, whoever traded it in. So. Like, I could have picked up both. Maybe I'll go back and grab the other one, but I also heard the other one is... Really bad. Really, really, really bad. Really bad. Um, so, it might also kind of depend on the pricing, too. Because <laughs> it's kind of a, how much is a really, really, really bad game worth? Uh, I think I'm going to get yelled at if I say how much I paid for this one, so I'm going to... Uh, shh. Let's look at the manual. Let's look at the manual. It, look, it's not the most expensive video game I've ever bought. It's not the most expensive video game I ever bought. Oh! Ah! No, that was not the right thing! Hold on. <laughs> I'm on the wrong screen. Okay. Hopefully this is okay size. Yes. Sometimes we had to make concessions. Sometimes we had to make concessions. I'm, I'm at least glad that a lot of them I can recolor things. All right. This is kind of funny. Precautions. This is a high-precision game. It should not be played or stored in places that are very hot or cold. Never hit or drop it. High-precision game, indeed. Okay. I can zoom in a bit. So you have a table of contents. I, I went through part of this myself to get a feeling for how things could work. Uh, also, I should probably... It's from the 1990... Um, actually, wait. It's from 1992? I think. I think. Something like that. Uh, the original game is from earlier, though. It's from the 80s, like late 80s. But this is like a port from a computer game. The this version of the game apparently has a better soundtrack, as in it, it has a more complete soundtrack. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, there I guess there are a few more limitations um, for this. 
Also, I will say, I do not know how to play AD&D 2nd Edition or AD&D 1st Edition. The furthest I go back is 3.5. So I'm going to be learning a bit about this. Uh, there are some like charts in here. <laughs> and I've, oh, a few other things I heard. Um, this is a limit of eight inventory items. That also includes items that are on your person, like armor and rings and stuff like the, that you're wearing. So that's one like bad thing about the NES version, apparently. Uh, but it does seem to remember things in between. Like it has must have a battery or something. Because I'm pretty certain that the characters that are in here are not necessarily default characters. Like one of them is, but the rest aren't. It's just space, I think. It's really just computer space. Okay. So we have a bit about Flan today. Do you guys know for much about Forgotten Realms? A lot of my knowledge is from 5e uh, Adventures League stuff and like research on my own for characters for things set in Forgotten Realms. So I'm not like a font of knowledge for Forgotten Realms, but Flan was kind of a wait, wait, wait. This is something that I've run into before. I don't, I'll have to like look up more. Flood War. Wait, there's beat em up set in Forgotten Realms? Faerun is where you learn most of what you know. Fair, fair. Also, I guess Heroes of the Lance is not a Forgotten Realms thing. <clears throat> it's Dragon Lance, I guess. Oh! Neverwinter is the loveliest time of year! I, I... I could. I actually have never played Neverwinter. Um... I know Neverwinter is also a place, you know. It, it's the place. Well, a place. It is a place that has games set there, along with other places. But I've never actually been in any sort of game whatsoever into Neverwinter. Any of them. Biggest city in the north? Yeah, then you're in the north. Like, Neverwinter is just nice because it's, just, it's never winter. <laughs> Right? That it's like, it's relatively warm for being in the fucking north. Huh. Huh. Well, anyway, it's going to be set in Flan so far for this one. I have no idea what the star is. Ocean keeps them warm. I think I remember hearing about the gardens of Neverwinter. <laughs> Flan today. The city of Flan, built on ruins upon ruins, is divided between the human forces of the council and the wicked forces that hold much of the remaining city. The council territories are nestled behind a strong stockade of stone quarry from the ruins and trees cut from the quivering forest. A substantial city guard patrols the openings in the walls at all hours always ready to repel attacks by the old city's inhabitants. Flan displays little splendor of the ancient past, but the past is always with her inhabitants, reminding them of what once was and could be again. The city is filled with adventurers seeking new fortunes and traders hoping to reestablish old trading lines. The lands beyond the civilized stockade are wild ruins controlled by local factions or tribes. Control extends only as far as the reach of claw or sword. Petty bands of orcs, goblins, some led by more sinister monsters, vie with humans for power. Much of Flan's ruined greatness can be found in the Old City. The main sites include the forgotten riches of the wealthy old nobles' houses, Podol Plaza, the center of the old trading district, and the old shrine, now dedicated to Bane. Brain rot. Okay, sorry, I was about to say Vallejo Castle. <laughs> it's not Vallejo. Uh, Valjevo Castle has been refortified and is being used as a headquarters for one faction leader or another. I actually don't know if it's even pronounced Vallejo. But. <laughs> a hearing about the gardens. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that happens. <laughs> oh, I realize you might not have been able to. Uh, okay, you probably were able to read most of it. I'm reading this on, like, a secondary screen. d, &D Basic. I haven't played that either. The Pool. Legend says the elves first discovered the Pool of Radiance, 
Its description has varied through the years. Many wise sages have declared it a myth and a con man's ga gambit. The location of the pool changes from tale to tale. Sometimes it is deep in the heart of an eternal wood, sometimes on an island circled by great worms, and sometimes in the heart of a huge solitary peak that rises above all others in the Dragon Spine Mountains. It is said that the pool glows with its own energy. Those that approach it feel new power within their bones, while an unreal melody holds them in rapture. Legend says that the pool's power created the quivering forest and caused the Sorcerer's Isle to appear. The pool is said to bring great power to the worthy and horrible demise to the unworthy. Uh, Vallejo? Vallejo? <laughs> um, man, I'm gonna- I wanna double check something because I- there's something. Oh, okay. Oops, wait. Okay, I was right. Ish. Um, so there's a paint line, and I always- Okay, so I, I misread it probably as Vallejo. Because I read the J as <laughs> I read the J wrong. <clears throat> Which is why I immediately jumped to that. It, it's kind of like, you know, Bruja, where it's kind of a... Ah. Depending on things, you might read the J as a different letter. Uh, Veljevo. V-A-L-J-E-V-O. There is a J. <laughs> it's just... Uh, I just... yeah. You also read Vallejo that way? Okay. It feels it feels like a good reading of it, even if it might not be true. But I take J's away from where they belong. Or where they don't belong, I suppose. I put them in where they don't belong, and I remove them from where they... where they actually are, I suppose. With the whole GIF thing. And now with Vallejo and Bruja. So we get a nice, nice view of the moon sea. Look, it's hills far. I know that. And Zenzel Keep in Belmont. Those are the ones that I know more. It's kind of like, wait, the dragon spine or maybe I'm confusing them for a different mountain line. It's mostly just, I think, a Spanish thing. Right? That's... When I read Bruja, Bruja is... Witch? In Spanish, I believe? So, when when I was presented with a vampire clan with called Bruja, I read it as Bruja because they tend to be inspired by different cultures. Maybe I shouldn't say inspired. They were from different cultures for it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I don't know a whole lot about Slavic languages. Mine was entirely based on Spanish. Now I think about it, actually, actually, wait. My first DM, story master, storyteller, storyteller was, was, uh, like part Cuban, like half Cuban. So that may have also influenced. So how to deal with this, like how to, how to start game. Da, 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 we got that. Um, we can turn music and sound on and off. We can, we have to select the order before we go out, but first we have to build the characters. And I have no idea how, what we're going to do for the character building, because it might be a case of like, do we save scum? If that's such a thing, do we just like keep resetting until we get stuff that we like for it? Because it does randomly roll. Uh, for some materials. Uh, character. They spend a ton of time in here talking about the spells, spell lists. <clears throat> ton of time. Uh, so I read through the classes. I mean, you guys are all familiar with the classes, right? Fighter, cleric, magic user, thief. Actually, with this, I'm gonna actually go into the game because then we can see it more clearly. And I'm gonna make sure. Oh, also, I'm gonna move these games so that they're not on top of here. I've gotten almost all my games that I bought last weekend to work except for one. And it's it's like so close, and I can't really tell how much of it is like 
the f maybe the pins aren't like going all the way, if that makes sense. Mm. Okay. Okay, actually, first some iron. So yeah, we can tell it game speed, music, sound, a uh, bunch of stuff. So characters. There are actually three characters that already came with my game. I, I did not make these. These are just the way that they are. <laughs> so someone in made, made three human males. Um, and they made, like, this guy, evil fighter. Then we have... Oh, he's lawful good cleric. And then we have a neutral good magic user. Posture check. My posture's fine. My posture's fine. Uh, we can... You can make up to five characters and we also get one more NPC. It feels weird to erase them, but at the same time, I... They're not my characters. They're not my characters. You'll lose Goldleaf forever. Goldleaf waves his hand sadly. I have deleted the data. I mean, why did they make me feel so bad about this? You'll lose the last person. Okay, we're gonna make some characters. <laughs> Please don't go. The drones need you. They miss you. So these are all the options that we have available for characters. Um, I believe it will randomly roll, so like the only things that are here... Um, if, I, if I create a party of like all, all human fighter guys, they're not going to have the same stats as far as I'm aware. They look up to you, dwarf fighter. Yeah, there is a limit, so you can't really change. Uh, you, you can't change a huge amount there, a dwarf fighter. Mm -hmm. Also, I heard that female characters have like a lower cap for strength or something like that in this edition slash in this game. I'm not certain. <laughs> Uh, because I, I do know that was something that they had in, in some variants of the game. I'm just checking further down. Okay, yeah, so I got to the part where there were charts, and I was like, ah, uh, okay. Charts. Uh, oh god, there's a sideways chart. So they have a, a party suggestion here. They have a suggestion of Dwarf Fighter, Human Magic User, Human Cleric, Half elf magic user slash cleric and elf fighter slash magic user slash thief. Uh, only I, uh, the humans can only be one class, but other other races can multi class apparently. Uh, and there's also apparently a guarded tour, guided tour. Blech. Okay. Oh, you guys can't see the full list because I'm blocking it with the game manual. Give me a second. I'll I'll shrink it. Um, okay. So here we have. The full list. We could go for a dwarf fighter. A human magic user. I could just make the base the base set. Since this is my first time. Unless this is a trap. Probably not a trap, right? Probably not a trap, hopefully. Dual class. I don't know if you can change your class from your, the one that you start with, to be honest. I missed the music already. Also, I don't actually know what the difference is going to be in terms of this. Like, they do have... Oh, oh, right, so... <laughs> Let me, let me open this up again. There's a section on what the different... Um, damn it, damn it, damn it. How far up do I have to go for it? Uh, not here. Is it for the character creation? No, it's gotta be... Can I, like, control F neutral? Surely I can. They, they have like a little chart somewhere that talks about the different 
alignments and what they mean. Okay, here it is. Worldview and ethics. So a bit of a... Um, <laughs> The, the, these are the definitions. We have good indicates that character tries to act in a moral and upstanding manner. Neutral indicates the character leans towards situational ethics, evaluating each set of circumstances. Uh, and evil indicates the character acts either with no regard for others or in an overtly nasty manner. But yeah, and then lawful, neutral, chaotic. So there's no, like, wibbling with this. This is... <laughs> Cut and dry. True neutral. Um... I, I really don't know if this is going to have any have any effect later. Uh, so, if, if I play this a lot longer ago, just thinking about... You can make your own entire D and Z party. How neat is that? I don't know if they. Yeah, they don't talk about like any limitations here. It feels so weird that we can pick basically any alignment for all these characters. But also, I wonder if, if we won't be able to necessarily... Actually, will he always be 56? If I choose this and then go back... Okay, so it is, it is randomly choosing his name. Or not name, it's randomly choosing his age. Every time. It's not going to be a chaotic evil elf. Probably. <clears throat> Probably. Okay, let's see. So we randomly rolled. We got this. Strength of 17, con of 16, dex of 14. That's not the worst, you know? Uh, What happens if I say no? What happens if I say no? It... <laughs> I just re-roll! I just re roll. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. This one's better. I don't know if we have a limited amount of re rolls, but like, damn, 18. Uh, Dex is 17. Like, okay. Con is 15. A little worse, but like, considering the Dex is 17. Yeah, I think. Yeah, the thing is, okay, like, wait, AC7 is fine. Oh, no. The fighter has low charisma. Whatever will we do? Yeah, we're going to take him. What does he get named? He's a, he's a lawful good d dwarf. Dwarf. Uh, Dwarfnamegenerator.com. No. -uh. Not enough brain for that. Fantasynamegenerators.com. What's a good dwarf name? Uh, dwarf name, dwarf name. That will also fit <laughs> in here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and it's kind of, oh, I like this name, but like, wait, no, I guess it's a little too close to another word. It, it would not do to bring like Dungrum to the dungeon, would it? <laughs> there was fucking new, there was a character, or you could name him New Fock. Uh, hmm. Gizmud, Nekek, Marul. I could be cruel. I could be cruel. I could name him Goduck. <laughs> I could name him Goduck. Oh, this is this name generator. Dwarnik. Debrawly. <sighs> I can't name him Jinmag. Hazatin. Savrier. I want something that's kind of easy too. 
Rucker. Rucker. Do you know what a Rutger is? <laughs> Rutger Howard. Wait, Rutger is actually a professor's name? Wait, are, 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 wait, really? Is is Rutger? Hold on. Holy shit, it is a real person. Okay, I didn't know that. Rucker is a real name. Okay. There's, there's, um... <laughs> I'm used to Rutgers because there's such a thing as a Rutgers tomato. Uh, and they're supposed to be, like, a, a, a really good, like, tomato to grow at home. Roy Vatty. Oh! Oh, that's who he is. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I was just thinking of um, the tomato. So it's just sort of a, oh, we're naming him after a tomato. And it's kind of, oh, oh shit, we're not naming him after a tomato. Okay. Uh, oh, I see what you mean by the SOMERP. SOMERP. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I can get my mouth around that one. We can name after tomato. I'll put Rucker into the world of Pool of Radiance, okay? Rucker can adventure. Sweet. Let's make another one. So they were suggesting the. Oh, sh where was it? Down here. Human magic user. I want to see what they both look like. Okay, he looks evil. He looks like an alien. She's 29! Uh, do, do we see if we can get her any higher? Hold on. Let's see if we can get her any higher. Also, I want to see about this one. He's 31. Okay, so yeah, hopefully we can. She's 31. Is that okay? Are you guys okay with a 31-year-old? <laughs> Magic user. Uh, um... <clears throat> Uh, hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll make it run the gamut. She can be true neutral, probably. Or neutral good. Probably neutral good. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the high for the elves. Okay, so, hmm. I don't think that these are actually shit. A magic user uses int? In this case, I would nowadays, like since at least 3.0 it was in, but I just want to make sure that for this, actually, hold on, they have a thing in the book. They have a thing in the book about it. Because, like, yeah, well, wisdom would be more for the cleric. Int for. Okay, yeah, magic users 100%. Uh, wisdom for clerics. Okay. Her in's okay, but her in could be better, so we're gonna reroll. Strength of eighteen, Neil. Into twelve. We're not making a we're not making the muscle wizard. Wow, okay. No, this is not fine. No, this is not fine. Her, why is her in twelve? This is this is okay, but like it's not great. Like, I don't... This random number generator. So, was it Jay who posted about a random number generator? And it's just sort of a... Oh, this is really neat! And it's kind of a... Th these are not random... <laughs> these are not random enough! Ah... Uh, she's so well-rounded, but I want... Like, do I just take this? With N of 16 and strength... Like, nothing is terrible. It's just not... Ideal for the wizard. At least there's no like limit. We can just keep re-rolling. I'm gonna keep re-rolling until I get something good. Okay. This isn't bad. Int of 17. It's not int of 18, but like, you know, it's fine. I 
I didn't see the hit points. I can re-roll and see if that will help, but I don't think so. I don't know how they calculate hit points. Let me check. Aside from adding constitution. Uh, question mark, adding constitution. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me grab out a, the AD&D. Two ebook, come on. There's got to be a PDF of the two e. The thing is, there I did see some things where like, oh, you'd expect it to be able to do this, but it's not. 1d4, okay. Can I... Oh, I don't want the Book of Artifacts. I literally just want the base book. Eh. Um. Mm. Uh, not all 26 books. Okay, fine. Okay, so I think we're gonna try and reel a little bit more. Maybe we can get an int of 18. Maybe we can get an int of 18. <laughs> we got a strength of 18 before. Wait, she has five hit point. She has five hit point. Six? She can go higher. Oh, she had an int of 17. I should have saved that one. Or I should have at least looked at it a bit more closely. <laughs> Up to two, plus two calm modifier hit point. Maximum six at level two, or level one. This isn't, again, the worst. It's just like, it could be way better. I wonder if there's actually people... I mean, okay, so I have actually played in campaigns where we've done the whole, like, we're gonna uh, roll them. We're gonna roll them straight. If you get below, like, a certain uh, value in terms of numbers... Oh, shit! It was the end of 18! Okay, this is fine. This is fine. She's... <laughs> this is probably fine. Uh, okay. 18. We got an 18. Keeping it. It could be a better 18, but it's fine. There is... There is actually, like... A gradation of 18s in here, I guess, I saw. Um, because the dwarf has like a stronger 18 than this one or something like that. We lost one hit point, that's fine. Grading 18 is only for strength. Wait, so grading? Okay. Her wisdom mean great, her dex is whatever, but you know... This is fine. What what is she named? Uh, a human wizard lady. Wizard wait, wizard names, wizard names, wizard names. What is the name of that like Ovaltine? Okay, no, I'm not gonna name her Ovaltine. Sorry, one of the names in the generator was like Ovaltine-ish. So it's just sort of, hmm. Huh. Interesting. And they got rid of that for later ones because we just have now the ability to go above 18. Huh. And now I just look at the martial classes. Disgusting. I say that, but eh, man, I, I do love martial classes. I really liked being battle master. Battle master in five E was fun. <laughs> being able to do uh, interesting tactics was was really nice. Um, it would have been nice if that were like more baked into the other classes, but like, uh, I'll take what I can get. Yeah, yeah, but at the same time, it's it was oftentimes... <sighs> everyone else... Well, I shouldn't say everyone else, but a lot of other people were picking casters, so it was always nice being able to just kind of be uh, 
you need someone in the front to keep keep the casters from getting beat up. Uh, I'm helping set the casters up for and other some of their classes for like better stuff. <laughs> As I roll into the grappler. Mm. I this this name generator man. This name generator. Actually, okay. So there is one thing that I usually fall back on, and it's kind of a why. Why don't I fall back on that now when creating this party? I'm, I'm putting all this in and they're going to die in like five minutes. Um, if I look. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at what I normally do is if I'm in doubt, it's just let's grab a plant. Let's just grab a plant. Um, okay, I wonder if this will fit. Yeah, it should fit actually. Lemur foxglove. Just go to other games. I would try to go to Final Fantasy XIV, but I also don't want to like have any confusion over it. The guy can be named Yuri. Eh. Fox, Fox Club can go on the adventure. We will make another one and they will be... What is the suggestion here? At least they don't say like, hey, you should be a, hu you should be a female human cleric. Or something like that. What does the male look like versus the female? Hmm. I wonder actually about the age there. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. I didn't go far enough down. Far enough up. Oh. 21. No, no, no. Give me, give me older. Give me older. 22. No, older. <sighs> is this really the extent of the age? 22. Is that like the cap? 20. 22. Come on. Older. 21. 19. No. 20. 20. 22. Fine. Okay, we'll get we'll take the 22 year old since that's apparently the oldest they can be. Yeah, we're gonna have a zoomer cleric. Those stats suck. These stats suck. Those stats suck. These stats are almost okay. Give me 17 or 18 wisdom, please. I don't want it if it doesn't have that. Let me do a point by. Uh, okay, 17. <laughs> She might have been cloistered. Sorry, Jay. She might not know about the skibbity ruse. I don't know if these would be fine. Like the wisdom of 17 is like if I do frontline-ish, would that be okay? Like most of the things are fine. Why is that phrase being spoken? Because someone typed it and that's it. Look, it's our Zoomer cleric. 
It's our Zoomer cleric. I think I'm gonna try and reroll. Like these stats are pretty good, but mm -hmm. shit. I should have accepted that. I wonder how long you would have to do this to get like all 18s. Probably a really long time, huh? It would have done. It would have done. This reminds me of rerolling in, <laughs> in Gacha Games for your very first loadout. Like, who you get. I didn't do that with Fate, Fate Grand Order because I was very happy with my first roll. I got two four stars and one of them was uh, Berserker and the other one was uh, Saber, the hot boy Saber. Okay, these stats are actually better except for the hit points. These stats are better except for the hit points. Hmm. <laughs> It'll be fine, probably. If she dies, she dies. Okay, now we need to name her. I'm gonna pretend Rucker is named after the plant. The tomatoes. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Plant face, yeah. What do you mean it wasn't themed the whole time? <laughs> oh, for Rucker? Hun yeah, 100%. Totally in theme. Uh, I also like trying to pick the ones that are usually not like super obviously plants, but after a certain point, I've had to give that up. Because either you get like really Latin names or you just end up with things like. You guys know what Kudzu is, right? Or like leak. More of a. There's a gradation. You guys might not know. Did you know kitten tail? Kitten tail is apparently a plant. But I guess that makes sense with like you know cat tails. Worms. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured, um, I, I like plant names. Surprise, surprise. Okay. Margaret, Daisy. I think I'm gonna go with Cress. Calathea. Uh, I've not heard that one. Oh, but it's Calatheus. Okay. Oh, that's a house plant. There's nothing wrong with a house plant. It's more of a. <laughs> oh, it's a prayer plant. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Too late. <laughs> that would have been a good one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Was... <laughs> uh, half elf magic user slash cleric. Okay. How do they look? She looks so tired. I want to see what the other one looks like. He looks so evil. I don't know what it is. Actually, I do know exactly what it is. Magic user cleric. It's like he doesn't have enough uh, whites around the eyes. She's 48. Hold on. Can we get higher? 48. Can I cycle around? I can. 48. No, no, no. Come on. Something higher. After a certain point, I guess you just can't have a different age. Hold 
How old was he? 48 still. Born 48. So the, front, the first half has been, like, good slash neutral, I think. So it's kind of a, hmm. Do, do I dip into evil? Do I dip into evil? Actually, chaotic neutral. Actually, the last one should be chaotic neutral because the last one's going to be a fighter, magic user, thief. Neutral evil? Neutral evil? I can make a lawful evil. Awful evil. She'll be lawful evil. Okay, and she's a magic user cleric. So, Int and Wiz. Let's see. Can we get something that is decent for both? And not... Okay, this, this is actually pretty good. Int of 16 and Wisdom of 17. I could get better. Also, looking at it in this kind of a way, I only have a dwarf fighter in the front line. This is a lot of magic users. I think mean, I'm going to keep this one and see how it goes. Calathea. It doesn't fit! Oh wait, I misspelled it. Hold on. It do All because I misspelt it. One more. <laughs> I I really don't know how how deadly this is gonna be. Fighter, magic user, thief. Hundred and eighty year old guy. They're, they're using basically the same face for all the women. Like, they didn't change really anything, did they? Is she only going to be 180? I guess she's only going to be 180. Owls don't have enough variation in their ages, damn it. Okay. Now for this, it's kind of a... So she needs good dex. And she needs good... Dex? And int? Dex and int. Like, strength would also be good. But I feel like she's probably going to be in the back shooting, shooting arrows. This is actually pretty good. 18 dex and 16 whiz. Or 16 int. The strength is not great, but at the same time, it'll be fine, right? Yeah. One more name. One more plant. Better AC. <laughs> hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, we can name her drums. No, it's a worm. No. I don't actually know if that would fit. We could name her Primrose. I misspelled my own last, my own name. Okay. <laughs> 
A truly elvish name. I'm making sure I spelled it correctly. That was a different thing, though. That was the evening part. Double E's trip up people. Okay. There we go. Order. So this is the order that they're going to basically be marching in. I think this is going to be fair. Begin adventure! <laughs> you arrive at the city of Flan by boat. A man approaches. Also, there is a time tracker. Welcome, I'm Rolf. I'll be your guide around Flan. Please follow me. Eh. This is the Shrine of Tyr. We have three shrines in the city. Oh, <clears throat> this is the Shrine of Tyr. We have three shrines in the city. One for Tyr, one for Soon, and one for Tempest. I might be mispronouncing, it might be Sune. I I've heard Soon though. Rakio is in the Shrine of Tyr. If you look over here, there's the dock. It's too dangerous to send out ships right now. Soon. She. Shit. She isn't soon. Uh, soon isn't soon, right? Hold on. Oh. She's... <laughs> she could be, huh? She's fickle. <laughs> is Shars... Is Shars, like, darkness, right? We want to do something about it. So just tell us what her facing is. Neat. Oh, I forgot that you guys are still over there on the far side. I'll move you back over. You should be over here. This is the training hall. You can train here or fight duels. You can also hire adventurers. This is the city hall. The city council clerk will give you commissions. This is the Shrine of Tempest, and you're on your right. On your left is the city park. I am. I know that there's a map. Every step is one minute. At the same time, uh, if you're doing a search on every tile, that's ten minutes. But, in town, I you don't need to search. The other side of the gate is Old Flan. The entire area is infested with monsters. That's the whole tour. Goodbye. You're on your own now. This is an entrance to the slums. The guards are watching you. Oh shit. You enter the monster-infested slums of Flan. Large insects and rats run beneath your feet. You can hear an alarm in the distance. Uh. Yep. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, there is a map somewhere. I don't know how to access it. Uh. It might be area. Let me take a look at the guide. Because it was one of those things where, for the most part, you don't have to map. They will have a map for yourself. Or they will make a map for you. Uh, I don't remember what the key is. Mm, 
to check. Let me check. It might... Like, looking is for looking around. Uh... And search is kind of like an auto look. Like every time you... Okay, let's see. Yeah. Look is for finding hidden treasures and secret doors. Search is similar to look. Okay. Yeah, area is what I need. So yeah, there, there is in fact like a map. How useful! Uh, but... Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I do have a map. Hold on. There is, in fact, a map of Flan that we can use. So I believe the first thing that it asked us to do, or like the first thing that we're suggested to do, is to take the tour. We go to Arm and Armor Shop and purchase equipment. Because right now, as far as I know, we have... Party. You. Rucker. As far as I know, they have like nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing. Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. This is the city hall. The city council clerk will give you commissions. We don't have any money. This is such a weird little town! Uh, wait, I need the map back up. Like, the proper big map. Civilized area flan. Uh, so there's city hall. He went. Go he went through everything. we so fast. You enter city hall. The no, we don't want city hall. Fuck. Is this city hall? Do you need our healing service? Oh, what is your? Oh shit! No, we don't. We do not. In fact, need healing service. I heard it's very expensive. This is the dirty barren river. Okay, we're not. Nope. It's the city hall. I have no sense of direction here. Oh, damn it. I am directionally challenged! <laughs> oh, this is a bad idea. Cause especially cause like, great, we have a map. I don't have any sort of indication of what is where here. Uh, I'm gonna actually quickly open Photoshop so I can write some notes for myself because this, the 3D view <laughs> is really tripping me up. When it's like, visually, there's no difference between any of these things. Photoshop, please. Photoshop, please. Why are you taking so long? What's going on? No, I don't want to download anything. Wh wh why are you still loading? You should have loaded by now. Oh! Because you're asking me... Oh, that's why. Okay. It was asking me another window what I wanted to do. Okay, so what I need to do is... This... Screenshot. We're gonna adjust a little bit. <laughs> I 
and I'm gonna drop that down here because I do. Okay, actually, mm, if I make this the same size down here, and then move over here, and if I pop it up here, is this gonna work? So I have a map here in Photoshop. Uh, so I know that, oh, actually, where's my tools? Tools? Oh, tools are all the way over here. Damn, okay, we're gonna flop, toss them in here. Okay. So like the shops, or no, the city hall is like here. Oh no. I could just type and make it, I'm going to make it black, but I'm going to make it no, I don't want metallic. What's a good typeface? What's a good typeface that won't like give me a headache? Ariel, can't go, can't go wrong with Ariel. So I was gonna color overlay real quick. We're gonna do it in black. And we're going to give it a like it. Oh, actually, what I need to do is this. Actually, what I need to do is something entirely different. Okay. I won't be able to read that. So I know that like this entire building is city hall question mark. Is that it? Maybe I should make it in white. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Hopefully this will work okay. Not too bad. Okay. I'm gonna waste so much time here. So if I go this way... This was the shop. Okay. Which means on the map... Sorry, I... This is healing, like temple. We're also gonna do this in here. How does this look compared to the Okay, I see it. Hold on, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more thing because this is gonna massively increase understanding on my part.
There's... I'm gonna overlay the other map onto it, too, if I can. If I can. Because right now it's kind of a... Wait, why am I... Why is it... Why is it doing that? Oh, I understand now. Inverse... Delete. So we have another map. And I can actually, like... Make this translucent and overlay it a bit. Or I can just use this as basically, like, this is, this is soon. Temple. Like, right here. The training hall is up here. Eh. So the Barren River is up here. <laughs> Thank you, comments are cool. Color the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I could color, but I don't really know if there's a point. Actually, there would be a point if I were coming back here a lot, but I don't know if I'm going to be. Um, so the slums entrance is over here. So if I, like... Oh. Slums. I just do that. One more zoom in. So that means that this is the Temple of Tear. Or Tear Temple. Like this, this complex here. That would mean that this weird complex is the Tempest Temple. So the shops and ta taverns are like over here. I'm probably going to be more concisely like labeling things later. But for now, this is going to be super helpful. And they have flan is somewhere over here. Like just in general. And then there was one more thing that was the passenger docks, which are over here, maybe? Ah, what is that for? You can see everything, right? It's not, like, too weird. Thank you for the water. I'll take you up on that. Look, you have to have a map ma maker in the party, and I'm the only player here. I'm the only player here, so I have to... <laughs> I have to do everything myself! I have to do everything myself. <sighs> okay. Now I still have to get my bearings proper. So like... Check my map. Where am I? So we're right outside of Tier Temple. So if I go south, I should be closer. 
yeah, so somewhere... If I start facing east, I should see shops, question mark. So, like, this down here might be a shop. A tavern! It's a tavern! Do you want to be the cartographer? Can I trust you to be the cartographer for me? It's a big... It's a... <laughs> It's a big role to fill, being the party cartographer. <laughs> you enter a tavern. The air is filled with smoke and gossip. There are several groups gambling energetically. What do you do? Listen to gossip. You are listening to random gossip. Wells throughout the city often act, often offer access to hidden dens and passages. It's common knowledge. Suddenly a brawl erupts. You are in the middle of the fight. Oh no! Oh shit! I don't have any equipment! I don't have any equipment! <laughs> um... Give me a second, there was something in here about, like, characters can theoretically run in battle, like, leave. I am going to double check. I swear there was like a run somewhere. So there's the encamp menu, which has leave, but it's not the same. Spell menu, combat menu, retreats. Different types of combat. Okay, so we just have to move away. So... Uh... I honestly can't tell which character is which. So, there, we have five characters, but there's... Seven on the map that I can see. So we just have to reach the edge of the screen to escape the enemies. When you move away from a foe that he's next to him or her, we can, uh, you, they get a free attack. Oh shit! Uh, so, we're getting attacked. Seven points of damage, Chris is dying. <laughs> Chris is dying! Oh fuck. Okay. What is auto? Hold on. We have no equipment. This is the worst. This is not the this was not the plan. Okay. Auto. Okay. So it's auto combat. Rucker attacks, misses. Honestly, I've... Okay. Yeah, 
Your teammate is dying. Yeah, my teammate is dying. We're getting the fuck out of here. If we have to restart, it's fine. They're attacking Rucker and missing. Escape battle, yes. We are learning how to run away. Five points of damage on Rucker. No! Oh shit, I set him to auto attack. Oh, that's bad, actually. I don't know if I can, um... I apparently I have to use the option again to regain normal control, but I don't know how to do that. Like, I can't swap to a different character, as far as I'm aware. They're not even in the street, they're in a tavern. I- they were listening to gossip and then a brawl broke out. My teammate is dying, yes. My teammate is dying. Three points. Rucker is dying. Yes, we're escaping. Where am I? Half my party is gone! <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to search. What I wanted to do is... I, I don't have the option? I don't have the option, I guess. To the north is the passenger dock. Okay. The boatman comes over and says the city council is only allowing boats out to so Okay, no, that's not what I want. Yeah, I don't have the area option anymore, so it's just sort of a, a... No, I don't need healing service right now. Yep. Um. I don't know if this. No. I don't think this was the right way. Okay. I need to look at the map. So this was like a tier temple entrance. Okay, so this is the training hall. We could save- we could- we could just not save for right now. So I have to go south from here. Inn clerk. We don't need the inn. Oh, okay, so this is the armor shop. I did not make it this far before. This is the tavern. You guys, I think they're actually dead. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I can find them. Um, hold on. I'm gonna look up really quickly to see if I, uh, huh. They're seriously just gone.
Okay. Uh, we're gonna reset. <laughs> we're gonna reset because damn. Yeah, yeah. They should still be saved as character sheets, and we haven't gone very far. Yeah, I'm gonna reset. My very first- it, yeah, sort of. Eh. We have to recreate them. Okay. I- no, I didn't say because I didn't find the same spot before I entered battle. Uh, okay. Yep, time to recreate. We're, we'll do it way quicker. Yep. I will try and save first. We just have to roll until we get something good. I want an 8 scene strength. Give me 8 scene strength. You know... Okay, hit 4 hit points is really bad, isn't it? Four hit points is really bad, isn't it? <laughs> huh. <laughs> but, like, 18, 17 is probably good? Maybe? Yeah, even though he's gotten 18, I think I might reroll anyway, just because, like, four hit points is... <sighs> no. We can do better. We can do better. Shin what? I've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game. Is this better? He has one more hit point! One more hit point. A single hit point more. The rest of his scores are bad. I don't know what this means. This feels like a glitch. Should, should it not go up to 60? This is Rucker 2.0. Close to 100. So, pretty decent then. So, we're making a female human magic user, I believe. It doesn't go up to 100, but it, the game might just be throwing shit out. Okay, 30 is not high enough. We want her to be 31. 31. Not 28. Come on, come on, higher. I know you can do random number gen- okay, well, good. Uh, I think it was doing neutral good. No, bad. Bad. Gimme, give gimme give at least 17 for int. We could do better. Only one less hit point than the, than the fighter. This is good.
Next one was a human cleric. And we can't make her too old. We can make... Oh, 22 is the oldest I think she'll be. And she needs good wisdom. This isn't so bad. She's got four 17s. <laughs> That's not so bad. And a 16. Nothing lower than a 14. Okay. I'm actually going to name this one Calathea. Next one is the magic user cleric. And she's going to be... Okay, so magic user cleric, so she needs good ins and whiz. Come on, we can see better. We can see better. Ints and wisdom at 18. This is this is fine. She has the more hit points than the fighter. Okay. I forgot the name that I chose before. I think it also started with the C. I want to make it a little bit more distinct because I, I, I need to remember based on name more than anything else what they do. No, uh, Azure, I, I went around, I got the guided tour. I, I was trying to find where to buy equipment and I went into the tavern and I listened on some gossip and then we entered a fight and two of my characters out of five died. So I, I hit reset and it didn't, because I didn't save the game. I lost all the characters that I created. So we're recreating them. I didn't know that going into the tavern and listening to gossip could ins instigate a fight. Yeah, so I'm I'm recreating roughly. Okay, wait, int eighteen, dex eighteen. Her strength's only 11. However, her dex is 18, her int is 18, and her wisdom 17, and her con is 17. This is like... This is our ranged fighter. Okay, we're gonna take this. Um... It's not, like, one-to-one. -one. Bro, I was getting, I was getting on my magic user like 18 strengths and like 11 int rolls. So it's just the, the random number generator. <gasps> you know what? The seed is different. The seed is different. The seed is better question mark. No, I was rolling really shitty before. We're getting the tour. Doop, doop, doop. Uh, it's really hard to focus on this. Shrine of Tear, we have three shrines. One for Tear, one for Sid, one for Tempest. The Donk. Do something about it. Lower thick go is better. Uh, I do the, the book. 
the book does come with charts for things. Like level advancement tables and weapon tables and armor tables and constitution strength adjustment tables. Actually, here we go for the strength adjustment tables. So yeah, it, it does go up to a uh, hundred. It does go up to a hundred. So we have 60. We have 60-ish strength. Yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have 1860 strength. <laughs> That's a training hall. Uh, I also ended up making a map because I was having difficulty figuring my way out around things. And then they just plonk us in front of the slums in like a second. Yeah, they just like leave us, they leave us in front of the slums. And we can't say from here we have to go into other areas. So I'm just going to actually... If I just keep walking south... It really like throws me for a loop, the fact that it... <laughs> the, the way that things change... So right now we should be in front of something, like a shop. Armor! We have armor! What do we want? We want some armor. Okay, actually the booklet does say... Be careful to outfit all the characters without running out of gold. Here are some suggestions for equipping each type of character. So we want to buy some banded mail, apparently. I think it's important to buy him something. Wait, the, he's the armorer. My bad. This was the armorer, wasn't it? Arms and armor shop, okay. Sorry, it's just like, why? Okay, there's there's a second set. So the suggestion is banded mail. And a long sword. Long sword's actually really cheap, damn. Okay. Yeah, but he's also our frontliner. He at least needs a long sword. The suggestion for the magic users is darts and a staff. So. I'm gonna start outfitting them first and then see how it goes. We're gonna equip longsword on him. Don't tell me I fucked up. Oh my god. 
Can they swap items? If not, I just fucked up really badly. One person bought all the equipment. Can they change equipment? Is there a way to do that? Do they- are they able to... <laughs> okay, real quick! <laughs> oh my god. At least I didn't buy anything super expensive, it's just sort of a, uh... Is there a way? It's a little hard to tell. Okay, we can trade. Uh... Shit. Calafea is gonna get this. I feel like I need to get better at like figuring out who gets what because right now I'm thinking like wait do I understand who everyone is based on their name I may have fucked up like if I look at the party view Calathea is the cleric She has a flail. So what I'm actually gonna do is, I think I am going to trade these off of Calathea, because they were actually meant for, I think, Foxglove. After this, I'm gonna try and find a safe spot, because damn, if I fuck up again, if I fuck up again. Oh, she can't have both? Okay, so if I... She has darts. So they have a backup weapon. Yeah, but we can only equip one at a time, apparently. And if we, when, if we get into melee with those characters, they won't be able to use their ranged weapons. So they should have a backup. This is 2.0 D&D. This is 2.0 D&D, AD&D star, asterisk. Because there's apparently a little bit different but if it's probably more uh, issues with coding than anything else. Rai has absolutely nothing. What the hell was Rai again? Rai is the magic user cleric. So with her, I wasn't certain if I wanted to do more magic user or more cleric.
Yeah, yeah. The, there's a limit on what you can do in terms of some stuff. I'm gonna actually make one more little cheat sheet for myself because I keep forgetting what people are because I changed the names a little bit. Like I know, okay, I know Rucker is our fighter because he's the only guy. There's too many girls. I can't tell the girls apart. Uh, I've heard that like for this, there's no real point going beyond level nine or something like that. And even then it's like, it's really fucking annoying apparently to go. Uh, anywhere near that high. Calathea is the cleric. I should remember because Calathea was a praying plant. But I was trying to remember, like, okay, is she like frontline ish cleric or is she more spelly cleric? And the answer is, uh. <laughs> hmm, hmm, hmm. I think that Fox Club was simply a human magic user. Narai was a half elf, I think. Hold on. Ah, uh, so Calathea has some pretty good stats. Rai, okay, yeah. Ah. Uh, So Rai... Okay. Has n no weapon and no armor. So what kind of weapon should I put on Rai? She's a magic user cleric. I feel like I should actually just go more cleric with her. I could just give her darts though. Oh, I totally rolled. I rolled. But there's no, no limit on the reroll. So I just uh, rerolled until I got something that wasn't absolute garbage. Because if I did the first roll, it's, uh, yeah, I would have had like an int 11 strength 17 magic user. Actually, I'm going to go into the shop again. Okay. Rai is going to buy herself. She's the magic user cleric. Uh... Darts, I think. Mm. I could just like straight up get everything else they need. It's just so expensive that it's sort of like a, it's a frightful thing, especially because of how Janky, this must be. So we at least are going to get a shield for the one main fighter. Not two shields, actually. Uh, proper tactics. I don't know. I mean, does Kingdom Death count? You've seen how bad I am at that. I've never played Tactics or, uh, I don't know, Fire Emblem. <laughs> and I, um, the Centauri didn't really require anything like that. What is Celasta? Okay, before I get any further in terms of what I'm equipping, I think that's the tavern. Where do I save? Yeah, 
Nope. Save. Yes, we're gonna save. We're saved. We're saved! Oh, we don't have anything else. I fucked up. Press reset before shutting your system off. Otherwise, your save game will be deleted. This is going to be a test. Hold reset. I did not hold reset. Fuck. It's fine. It's fine. It works. It works. We're, we're good. No one wants to train. No one wants to train, teacher. We don't have enough experience. You're still too green. Yeah. It's saved. What was in... No. Oh, shit. I don't- passwords won't really work for a game like this, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> Most terrifying experience? Yeah, it's like you, you could lose everything, and oh god, if you lose all your progress. A Dragon Quest password? I don't know what those look like. Wait. Is, is Dragon Quest Dragon Warrior? That was a tavern. Huh. Huh. A password transfer data between first and second game? I didn't play too many games that had any kind of systems like that. We're gonna buy some armor. Marker's gonna buy some banded mail. Do we even have leather armor here? We do. Five for leather armor. I really have to get out of the habit of buying everything in one character just because that does not apply for later since characters can only hold about eight stuff okay Bucker has long sword uh, band mail shield. Calathea has Banamil, Flail, and Shield. Rai has darts. Rai needs something else. Rai is our half elf magic user cleric. I don't know if I can really afford to put her. I don't know if she can actually wear magic equipment. Ah. Uh, or rather, not magic equipment. I don't know if she can wear armor. 
Uh... Esselmerp is the fighter magic user thief. She can at least wear this. So she's got the leather armor, long sword, short bow combo. I guess we're gonna find out. And this one is got darts and the quarterstaff. So I think uh, for the magic user cleric, I might just grab. I'm just gonna grab her a quarter staff real quick. I'll treat her as a magic user for now. We're gonna save again. This time I won't accidentally close the game. Yes, we're gonna save. Yes, we're gonna continue. Oh, yeah, I don't have any training. I don't, I can't. I'm just hitting the button too much. Okay. We have okay, so the next suggestion is to go to the inn. Where the hell is the inn? We passed the inn on the way. It was somewhere in the shops and taverns area. So this is the like up here is the tavern. I'm not going to actually We're gonna leave. I'm, I'm gonna write on my map. Except it doesn't actually have, like, hmm. There is a look command, actually. It's not super useful out here. In clerk, welcome. Fifty gold. We have barely enough. Actually, what I should probably be doing first is dealing with my spells. Go on, this is a lot of like initial setup. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, because the ordering is a little different than other things. Uh, I'm I'm used to 5e. I've done I've also done three through like 3.5 spells, and that functions a little differently. Um, there, as far as I know, the closest thing you have to that is this. This is the map. Area is the map. Ah. Uh, but yeah, no, so we have to... Encamp. Like, there's memorizing, scribing, dispelling, dropping spells, casting. But we're not casting, we're going to be... Memorizing because we don't have any new spells as far as I know in the spell books, we just have to like choose. So, Foxglove, I believe, is our pure mage. So, what does she have available? Also, I don't know how many spells she has. Hold on, because she's a pure magic user. They don't have any suggestions for what spells to scribe. Oh yeah, I guess sleep at early levels is good. One, <laughs> it's really good by me. At, at uh, really low levels, but it, it swiftly like drops off. 
Uh, but also I think I remember saying something about uh, sleeping really good right now. But I want to check out more about the command here for memorizing. So yeah, it's between one and nine targets go to sleep with no saving throw for sleep. Read magic is useful, but eh, detect magic indicates if something is magical, basically. How's the game? It is... There is no save, though. There is no save for the sleep. Uh, I had to rebuild my party. I, I'm, uh, I saved, but now I ha I'm figuring out what spells to set up because the game does not suggest that. And I don't know how many spells I get to do. Weapon table, armor table, level advancement table, spell summary table. Okay, I found it. I found it. I can memorize five level one spells. I think. I get one. S wait, as no wait, that's cleric. Fuck. Um, that's cleric. That's cleric. Shit. That's a level advancement table. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna bring up the table so you guys can see what I'm talking about when I'm like ah fretting over. Uh, total party kill. That's the worst thing that could happen if I choose the wrong spell. You know how many magic users I have in this party? I want to make sure I get it kind of right. I didn't just make a party of five fighters. I probably should have. I just go back to the previous save. This is supposed to be the balance party. So yeah, there's... Uh, a lot of tables here, and it's kind of a, okay, I don't need the strength or dex table ability adjustments or anything like this, or bonus tech. Like, this entire sheet is not useful right now. That's not what I'm looking at. Neither is the weapon or armor table. What I'm looking at is, like, spell, how spell work tables. Well, this is a level advancement chart. It also has the number of spells that a character can memorize at one time. Fighters and thieves can never memorize spells. Uh... So a cleric gets one spell at level one. Okay. Never mind. The number of spells per level that this is the example for a fifth level cleric with a wisdom of 18. Uh <laughs> I feel like I definitely need to read the second edition AT and book for this to make sense. Uh, I think I do remember reading them in one of the reviews that, like, hey, I, if it weren't for, if it weren't for my existing knowledge of it, I would have been fucked. Like existing knowledge of AT and Z. Uh, okay, let me bring that up. Ok, 
Okay. Please work, please work. Survival or crowd control, so sleep. Just become a sleep magician. The thing is, I know that you get to you get very, very few spells to actually cast at the beginning, but I wasn't certain about like the memorization for it. Okay. Oh, we literally can only memorize like one. Okay, what can Caliphate memorize? Okay. We do have a listing here of the spells here. There's no grease here. There's no grease here. Okay, cleric spells. We don't get a huge amount of options here. Reverse some power decreases they go foes by one. Mm. I could cause light wounds. I think it's for okay. Actually, I should probably think this through a little bit more because I believe, yeah, cause is probably not a good idea to throw on someone who's not going to be in the front. Protect from evil. I guess, especially because we're going to be. We'll do this. Will it allow me to do a second one? Oh, holy shit, I can. Curse? Holy shit. I can do a lot. I got like three. What has Rai got? Sleep. Uh, cure. Cure! Uh, it's like magic, it's fine. Magic user. Everyone gets sleep. And Fox Love. <laughs> Everyone gets sleep! <laughs> Everyone. Oh. Well, my party is a dwarf. And a bunch of human slash elf slash half half elf girls from twenty two to one hundred and eighty, I think. We have Rucker the dwarf, Calathea, the cleric, Rai the half elf, a Sarmirp, the elf. And Foxglove, the human. <laughs> In the game, the manual suggested. Oh, I'm sorry, I was blocking it a bit. The the manual. The game suggested a certain amount of like this organization. Okay. Now the suggestion is to do this.
we're gonna launch. Oh, we can save first. Hold on. We're gonna save. Till morning? I don't think we need a full 24 hours. It's bright and early. My map says... Okay, we're not too far off from City Hall. Can I just go in here? Yeah. Go in here for commissions! Let me check whether we owe you a reward. You have done nothing special. So we get a commission now. A fighter, magic is your cleric and thief. That's literally all the classes that we really have available here. <laughs> I think she is the curse doll. The slums need to be cleared of monsters. Drive away the monsters of Sokol Keep. Okay. Find any history books about Flan in the old times. I've given all the missions that I may. Oh. Uh. I, bro, I just got lost. Please don't get mad. I am, I'm just really lost. Okay. This is the entrance to the slums. Look, I'm, I'm getting a little better about the timing of things. Okay. Drive away the monsters, find a history of Zephalon in the old times. Okay, we're gonna step in. You enter the monster and the slums of Flan. Large insects and rats run beneath your feet. You can hear an alarm in the distance. Give me a second, I'm gonna make a new map. As far as I'm aware, time is not going to be passing uh, while we're just waiting around like this. We have to actually move. Okay, so I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna... New flan, old flan. Actually, I wonder if I can... Yep. Let's just mark this as a dungeon. Okay, and there's one more thing I'm going to do, and that is I'm going to make a layer comp for this, so that it's easier for me to swap. Okay. So this is a map of New Flan, and this is our, our map of Old Flan, which has no markings on it. And I just realized that you probably can't see necessarily everything because of how, how zoomed in it, it is. There we go. 
Enough information, it's enough information. Uh, this is the NES version. I don't want to say otherwise. It, I literally, I have an NES. I would touch it, except for the fact that it will probably reset. Uh, and... Yeah, that's why you got the cool music. Maybe I should put, like, real, real NES in here. I have nothing else to do. I don't- I don't know what the CX means. There we go. At least it doesn't cost me anything to look around like that. Okay, I'm actually gonna start like marking things on my map though, just because otherwise, uh, I feel like it might be difficult. So, how do I normally mark doors? Uh, oh god, that's awful, I can't see anything. Because I visit the 14% opacity, no wonder. Okay. Like, wow, why is it, like, really bad? The visuals. Oh, because... It's like that. Oh, there's a game center. <laughs> okay. Actual first edition model for- or module for this? Huh. I haven't checked out- I've checked out like a couple of old modules, but not like super deep. And a lot of it was more of a, oh, you can tell they didn't update this properly because there's like references to things that don't exist anymore due to different versions. Okay. Okay, so this is in here. You see some dirty orcs. What do you do? We are supposed to ahem, drive away the monsters or monsters of Sokol Keep. I have no idea where the fuck Sokol Keep is. So we're, we're fleeing right now. Go, man. I am cowardly. I can't area anymore. Do you see some dirty goblins? What's you do? I guess we'll can we can we parlay? We can parlay. We're gonna attack. But I don't know where Sokol Keep is. That's the thing. It's kind of a I could go through this, but at the same time, we're gonna attack. But we'll try attacking. So red is for all my wait, is it really red for all the girls and blue for the dwarf? Okay, so the first one up is going to be SO Merp. I'm probably just gonna call her SO because the, the full name is a little bit of a mouthful. I'm there's like three syllables in there and it's it's man. Backstab doesn't work. I don't know if anyone has backstab. Oh yeah, 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 I have the- I have the manual. Well, not a physical copy of the manual, but I have a digital copy of the manual. Uh, the thing was that it, it was partially helpful. Partially helpful. Uh, but I still have to piece it together with the in-game map. We'll have to see, because I don't know. I'll have to actually wait. 
This, we have a partial thief, so I don't know if she has access to th all thief stuff. And I didn't see anything about backstab, but I haven't done a huge in-depth thing on it. Um, let's see. So if I aim... I feel like I should aim at this guy. <laughs> She attacks and hits for two points of damage. Okay, Calathea. Is going to... Calathea is her cleric. She misses. Four points of damage. She's probably down, huh? Oh, she's not. This is Foxglove. Foxglove is the human. So, it's kind of a, where? House spell. House spell. Did I fuck up again and not do the appropriate spell stuff? Where, how do I accidentally memorize spells? I could just sleep everything. I should have memorized spells. No, 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 just, just an Ario. I actually did. The instruction said, like, memorize and then camp, and I slept until morning at the inn. I did that. I did that. And it's just the case of, well, did that not count? Did that not count towards it? Because I spent, like, 50 fucking gold sleeping in that inn. So I could memorize. That was the only reason I did that. She doesn't have the ability to cast right now. What the fuck? Okay, they're fucked. They're dead. They're actually dead because I don't have- it was not- I did not sleep enough or I didn't do the appropriate settings for them to do this. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. None of them have access to their spells, which is bad, because every that's like everyone's thing. This- yeah, I've already TPK'd once because I- I accidentally entered battle and wasn't able to run appropriately. Actually. What is her equipment? She's got darts. Oh, fuck. Um, she's actually gonna move. I know it's gonna trigger an attack when she leaves here. Three points of damage. Raya is dying. I didn't make the Lotus Party? No, I didn't make the Lotus Party. I didn't... I Look, I went with... <laughs> <laughs> for the harem party, okay? I went over the regular harem party. Okay, so this is Rutger. I also heard that they will- oh wait, that's too far away, fuck. Okay. Misses. Yes, my teammate is dying, I don't have any spells. Missing. This is doing really poorly. Tis but a scratch. It's more than a scratch. It's more than a scratch.
This is a lot of misses. Five points. Goblin leader goes down. Excellent. Two points of damage. Goblin guard is dying. Okay. Four points. There was something about, like, bandaging. Was it under guard? Bandage. Uh, yes? I don't honestly know how to save the person who is unconscious right now, because they're not physically on the map. We get gold? Okay. Flee. I don't know where... I, I, I don't have the equipment to do so. I think I would have to... Um... I don't have any spells. They don't have spells. I, I swear I memorized. I tried to memorize, but I didn't set it up correctly, I guess. Oh god damn it. Oh shit. We're gonna run. Everyone, we're able to run. I couldn't find my way out. I got lost. Oh, I did want to escape. Yes. Fox Club got away. Six points. Calathea is dying. This is bad! <laughs> I might have to restart again! I might have to restart again because one of them is dying on the floor. <sighs> okay. He's down. Also, because then I I can check to see why it didn't memorize the spells. Cause that that's like things would have gone a lot better if I actually had spells. In fact, you know what? Okay, Rucker can't use magic. What's with the rest? Like, it's not showing any spells done. I actually don't know also... Okay, it's six in the morning, so it's supposed to be after resting for the night. It's supposed to be after resting for the night. If I just set up encampment here...
Rye. I had a bunch of sleep prepared. So yeah, nothing happened overnight. It didn't do anything. It didn't do a single fucking thing that it was supposed to. Rested in the inn. I rested at the inn. Hmm. Insanely random, huh? It depends on what kind of events. Okay, I th maybe this will be way better. Maybe this will be better. Okay, who's gonna memorize? I think I just already did this. to see if it was going to do something that's it <laughs> since since I I slept at the inn but it didn't do jack shit for me so it's kind of a well it does say that I can like rest outside it's giving me the option so it's gonna happen and that's what happens um So it's just sort of a, uh, Foxglove can do sleep as well. We are resting. Now we can leave. We're going to save. Now can I cast? Now I can cast, okay. No. I'm lost. Water balloon. At least it's only water. Like, it'll dry out. I I wouldn't be a kind of person who would hunt them down if for doing that. If it were like a piss water balloon, a hundred percent. But just for water. I don't know if I still need to go to the commission.
Oh shit. Uh, I'm lost. Commission. I save my spite for the video games. <laughs> I try and save my spite for video games. Okay, the alarm in the distance. So I guess like when we get lost is when we lose sight of everything. Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell was really good. Um, there was one part where it was just sort of an eh. Eh, is is the projector like is there something wrong with the film what's going on and it's kind of a no no everything's cool um <laughs> everything's cool um i saw it dubbed i liked it <laughs> i like richard epcar's bot though uh it was a lot of inspiration for things too because the theme a lot of the theme of it is um like what is a human and the, one of the major com comparisons is against dolls. And it was sort of a, hmm, hmm, how can I apply this to, how can I apply this to uh, games that I've been in slash games I'm going to be in? <laughs> okay, I know where I am, but at the same time, like, where the hell is so-called keep? A miserable little pile of okay i did actually see i i popped in simon's quest and i did actually see see the text for like what a miserable night for a curse or whatever not a miserable night what a terrible night for a curse <laughs> one day i'm gonna see the miserable little pile of secrets yeah 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 actually fetch when they started doing a lot of stuff with the dolls and like well what's the difference um and stuff like that, and it was kind of a, uh, yo, I, I am, these are fetches. <laughs> these are fetches. What differentiates the fetch from, from, uh, the changeling? One day, yeah, one day I'm going to. Uh, probably starting in, like, autumn, I might do, like, a, a splurge of Castlevania stuff. I've seen parts of Standalone Complex. Uh, because that was on TV, so I've seen like a handful of episodes out of order. Uh, and I've seen... Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? The Arise. I've seen um, a couple of Arise in order, but it's been it's been a number of years, so I don't super remember it. I also have some stuff signed by Richard F. Carr. <laughs> Oh, I was actually thinking of just doing like Ghost in the Shell and then Ghost in the Shell too. That's uh, like some point really, really close by. Because it would be like standalone. See, they're standalone movies. You don't have to watch this first one to get the second one, theoretically. Yeah. I don't know how many I'd do though. Like if it would just be like the first three. Oh, what I should be doing is finishing my map a little bit because I do have like a little mark of like, oh, there's a, 
a thing here. So to the north, there's a door. Uh, let me actually check this map again. Actually, I need to make the eraser bigger. So I think it's over here. Yeah, the the movie that they showed on the theater in the theater was the updated 3D version. I've seen Ghost in the Shell one without the updated 3D. I liked it that way. Where are we now? We're here. Oh, okay, so that's where the door is. I need to adjust. Uh, wrong thing. This. So th this is the map I'm making right now. I'm not making like a note of differences between... Actually, should I make a different note between like arches and doors? Maybe I will. Because there's also like, oh, do you make a note for like portcullises and stuff? Um. The thing is, there's no such thing as like which way a door swings. So it's kind of awkward. Like, which way does a door swing? That would usually be my like notice. So I think I'm gonna actually do this. Like that weird uh arrow thing means that there's a door there and the white line is just an entrance. Or like a hall. I've never actually actually seen Pat Labor. Wait, so there's another door. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually simplify it into like a box with a line. It's not like I have a problem with it being anime, of course. I usually, when I was like making maps um, for Roll20 or something, I would just use a white box to keep it simple. Cause like a, an actual image of a door from above, that's beautiful, that's great. It's not usually enough like visual information though. Like it's not as easy to see, especially if it's if you're doing proper walls and stuff. The white box is ugly, but damn if it isn't like popping out at you. Oh, there's more doors. Okay, so we have a door here. And then a door at the end, it looks like. Okay, this is my map so far. Let's scroll up a little bit. Oh, another door. So another door like right over here. Oh, there's monsters. We have surprise goblins. We're going to attack. Now, before I do much more, I'm going to check something real quick because I want to see like how far can I s cast sleep? What is the limitations on sleep? The technical limitations on sleep. Okay, okay. Sleep. Areas 1 to 16. Two, okay. What can she cast? She can cast sleep. Oh, 
Look, beautiful. Will it work? She stopped spell? No, I didn't. Okay. Fuck, I think I fucked up. A wasn't working for like submitting the spell, so it's kind of a, is it too far? Attack the leader. There's also a question of, can she actually move and cast at the same time? Uh, we'll try sleep again. Okay, maybe it was too far before. Oh shit, Rucker's asleep too! I have, um... I've actually done that before. I've actually done this in the game where uh, I was playing a thief uh, with a, in 5e, and yeah, I accidentally slept some a team member. I think there was like a bit of a case of like, will it work on them or not? And the, uh, oh no, actually no, I slept myself. I slept myself. Uh, it did not hit the team member because they were an elf or a half elf, and they were resistant to sleep. But it it got me the dwarf. Guard is dying. Excellent. Rai just has a dart. Four points of damage. Goblin Guard is dying. Uh, Foxglove. We're gonna delay. I guess Fox Club actually just has to go. Uh, we're actually going to hold off. Seven points of damage. Excellent. We won! We got... Experience, three gold. What did we get for our take item? We got a longbow. Maybe Rucker can use it? There's nothing else to take. My first win! Okay. It's also bad when you have sleep. And sleep. And sleep. Any elf should be able to use the bow? Uh, actually, hold on. I have to remember which one's the elves. Uh, let's equip. I think that Estomorp actually has a short bow. Oh, 
Wrong one. That's the long sword. I could give it to Rai instead, actually. Or I can trade the short bow to Rai. Except for the fact that it's entirely possible that maybe she won't have the ability to use, to use the short bow, but she could use the long bow. So what I'm actually going to do is unequip that. Equip that. We're going to trade the long bow from SO to Rai. Rai will try and equip the longbow. Rai can't use it, Rai. Rai the half-elf cannot use it. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna trade it back. Not, not a full elf, no, but part elf. <laughs> I could just search too here, but I honestly don't know what kind of like things I might find. Orcs are arguing over some papers. What do you do? What do we do? We're gonna fight. Esomerp doesn't have any more spells to use as far as I'm aware. Can she aim that far? She can. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is probably not so bad in terms of like distance. I'm gonna double check to see something here. If there's a penalty for a certain amount of distance. Fans. There doesn't seem to be anything on the table about distance for ranged weapons. So I'm going to assume that it's fine. It's fine and she will be able to shoot this far. Six points of damage, Orc is dying. Okay, I think that's too far away. We are actually going to move back a bit. And we are going to guard. I don't think I can... Yeah, okay, so I can't go that far. Ah, uh, Calafea. Calafea's AC is actually pretty good, huh? <laughs> Looking at the AC at like three, and it's kind of a damn. Uh, I can move forward. Granted, she she actually has bandit mail. Um, I can just move her forward. I don't. Can I aim from here? Misses. Damn. Okay. One point of damage. I don't want to waste, like, a lot of spells on a single critter. You know? Misses. Five, six, 
five points of damage. Or it goes down. Okay. There's nothing else to be done here. There's no one else. So guard? Continue battle? No. There's no reason to. Two gold. Two whole gold. What did we get? We got a scroll! I don't know if I prepared anyone for this. Um, Foxglove is gonna take it. I don't remember what spells people have. I don't think I gave anyone anything but sleep. Oh no. Oh no. Um, maybe I gave... Uh, no. We'll deal with it later. Was this a dead end then? Like, looking at this map, there's this doorway, and there's like nothing else in here. That's so weird, isn't it? I could rest. I don't really know if it's a good idea for me to rest now, though. Except for the fact that it's like, hey, rest, rest often. Rest often. Like, I'm missing, like, one spell and one hit point. I think I can afford to push it a little farther. Okay. Surprised by goblins. Okay. Oh shit, we're surprised. Five points. Goblin Guard is dying. Oh, so we can go again. Misses. Misses. I don't think she can actually cast. If she move, actually, she might be able to cast. She, I, okay. I don't know if she can cast or not. Cause she might just get hit then. <sighs> okay. By, if I move, I also get hit. I might honestly be better off just trying to attack. Oh, I have- oh, this is Rai. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Please hit. Esselmerp is like the f best in show tonight. Rutgers Yield. Look, it's not like it was planned that she was going to be good. It was not known. We got treasure.
three classes to start. The thing is that like three classes at level one each, depending on like how things are, it's a master of none. Like you, if if you tried to bring to like a level four thing, level four five e game, uh, someone who like multi class dipped that much, that's bad. But I guess in this, in you know, two e. Well, AD and D2E, it's fine. Maybe I will go back and rest. So the map here. This is where I came from, right? Yeah, this is where I came from. So there's a door like a couple of spaces up, it looks like. So if I'm facing this direction, so there's also a door, like, over here somewhere. Not as far as I know. Like, you're the classes that you start as. So I'm in this hallway now. The tiny hallway. So if I'm here... Okay, so there's a door over here too. Orcs? I thought that was a guard with a big ass mustache at first! Three points of damage. Only two though, thankfully. Three points. Uh, Rocker is going to... If I take down him... She's really good. Um, I could just cast sleep. I can't cast sleep. I want to make sure that he stays up. If I just aim it over here, will it work? I- oh. Oh, it has to be on the three. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. I think it might actually be, like, British made. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pig orcs are more Japanese. Same with like doggy kobolds. Though pig orcs were... So like, those are all things that came from older D&D editions. The art was so simple-ish in some cases that uh, people took them both ways. 
So like pig orcs are in earlier editions of D and D, um, but by three E, the faces were like for for PC orcs were less piggish. They didn't have that snout. They had more of a if you know what um, the Gith Yankee girl looks like from Baldur's Gate, they have like more of a pressed up nose, a bit like that, but like more severe. I don't know what the earlier editions and that look like, like per edition, but I do know, I remember the art in, I think the 3.0 or the 3.5 book for like what the orcs look like, because they had a big lineup of what all the different, uh, were half orcs? They may have been the half orcs actually for that. They had a lineup, um, of like male and female uh, PC available races in like pencil sketch format in like what they would look like basically in their skivvies. Uh, shit, I, I just for a second forgot what I was doing. Um, one point of damage. Okay. less bad than I thought. No, it's not one point. He takes more points than that. I feel like I'm doing really well at the same time. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay, there's like a door right in front of us, right? There is. And we're here. A little further in than I thought. Okay. I do wonder where the keep is specifically. Like, this is not this keep, as far as I'm aware. Like, the entire thing is not so tall keep. Is it? Also, a door over here, I think. Hmm. Okay, now it gets moved over a bit. Don't know how this is gonna look. Okay, so you can kind of see the map so far. Again, like where the doors are. A dungeon in the dungeon. Mm -mm. I also heard that the enemies may run depending on like how things are going. So that's why I tend to try and focus on the leader first in case that might make them run. I don't know if that's actually how it works though in the game. I'm partially running on, uh... Random internet search fumes <laughs> when it comes to this. It's not quite, like, Mew. They're totally, if you can get in the, if, if you can get under this barrel, um, or like if you can get under this truck, Mew is totally under the truck, you guys. It's not quite that bad. It's also like, I didn't have, I didn't take any time to look through game facts either. 
it was mostly just, is there anything to be looking out for? Is there anything that I should know in particular in terms of like how this is different from the other games? Uh, let's see. I'm looking at this and thinking about like where I am. So there's a door straight ahead. And that's it. And again, there's a door kind of straight ahead. I feel like it's really dangerous for me to continue just like wandering straight through like this. It seems that this place is some kind of shop long ago. Now it's a monster meeting place. Before they see you, you hide in the shadows. You overhear a part of their conversation. Thieves use the catacombs as their hideouts. <laughs> I'm okay now, I'm worried. Okay, I'm gonna type that in, monster meeting room, because that's very important. Holy fuck, thank you, thank you, DM computer. This is the monster meeting room. Also, I'm gonna save this, damn. I just realized I've been doing this entire thing without having saved. <laughs> On both, uh, okay, uh, let's see, we're gonna save it in here. If I remember where this goes, it's gonna go into Pool of Radiance. I can spell Pool of Radiance. This is, uh, Old Flan Map. Now I want to find a safe space to rest, and I don't know if I can. Should I just try and head back to town? Should I... find a spot... a room? Should I try and go back to that previous room? I wonder if I, I can. I'll try and go back to that room. And hope. And pray. I guess I can also make it into a little bit of a challenge. It's dark. Night fell because it's 1900, which means that it's seven o'clock. It's past seven o'clock at night, so it's dark. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh hmm. We are going to try and get into that one corner room that was kind of safe. God damn it. You see angry orcs. We're gonna attack. I'm waiting for the day that there's gonna be- they're gonna sandwich us. Is she gonna aim that far right? She can. Five points of damage. I'm gonna delay. Is he gonna move forward? One point of damage. Rai is going to change her equipment. I 
And I'm going to aim and probably not hit at all on him. Interesting. I wonder if I can aim. I, I should be able to aim from here. Foxglove has no spells. Foxglove has no spells. I don't have any... I... My spine is fine. My spine is fine. I just realized I, I haven't seen this for a while. My spine is fine. My spine is actually, okay, a little bit sideways, I suppose. It's a little S-shaped, but not like front back. It's more, uh, everything else. Seven points, orc leader is dying. Excellent. No one else is going to be able to hit. Oh, three points. Oh god, it's so late. It's eight o'clock at night, isn't it? Oh, fuck. I see some dirty orcs. What's he do? We're gonna attack again. We can see this. We can see this. Six points. Can we cast? No. We have to change what she uses. We are going to... Marp is like the only one who can actually land a fucking hit. Five points. Rucker's down. She misses. Oh no. This is gonna go very poorly in a second. Because she's gonna get hit. I can't actually cure him. Wait, no, Rucker's not dead. Rucker's not dead, right? There's like a mark over here, so like I I can hit. Orc surrendered. No, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's alive. He's alive. He was just unconscious. It's fine. It's cool.
We need to get out of here. We are so close to getting out of here. Okay. That was the wrong way. There, the door was there. What happened to the door? Did the cobalt set a trap? The dream is dead. Please hit. No. Rai is dying. The dream is in danger. Why is this when we're getting like five fucking turns in a row? I don't actually have anything else to do except for aim. What does she have anyway? She's got darts. Okay. Two points of damage. I know he doesn't have a whole lot of health, but neither does like anyone else here. any health my teammate is dying I can't do anything for her right now cobalt leader is dying I there is nothing to be done doesn't have anything. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any potions. Rise unconscious. Uh, I don't have any more spells for healing. I'm fucked. I, I don't know if I can actually just like camp here. I don't know. I don't know if <laughs> dies if I do that. Um... I swear that the entrance should be like right here. The en if, if we look at the map, that, that first arrow was the way that we entered. So like, it, it's gone. I, I guess like there's nothing else to do really. I'll just have to try and rest here. Turn right. That's not the same door, though. That leads into a different area. And... Why are you saying turn right? Just just to go through there? Is That's not necessarily a safe space, as far as I was aware. I don't think I cleared out the encounter in there. I'm looking for the door that led out of old old flan back into new flan. I wanted to leave the dungeon. Am I not able to leave the dungeon basically? Well, 
We'll just deal with it. We're just gonna kill them. Oh shit! Thank you for reminding me. <sighs> um. Rucker is quite far away. Can I? I can't see it from there. I could just run, but then I'm gonna lose my spot. This far now. Nope. I could just guard. change his equipment. Oh, he literally has nothing but the shield. Can he? He can't. Four points. Calafe is dying. Fuck. No. Okay. I at least got one. The question is whether or not I'm going to be able to take off more. Five. He's down two. This is the end of the party. Unequip the longbow and equip the sword. She's really bad with the sword, I think. Oh, he surrendered! But the other one hasn't. This area now. Oh. Oh shit. Okay, I see. I see what you mean now. I just have to go. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. Oh fuck. I didn't want to attack. I'm gonna. I wanted to run. I meant to run. I don't know if I can actually run without leaving the others behind now. Fox club is down. It's just me, me and a somewhere. A somewhere is the only one standing. This is bad. Summer is dying. Everyone in the party is dead. Game is over. Go home. <laughs> it's over. One point in a dream. I would like to continue this. I think I'm going to try and continue this. Uh, I am going to do some stuff off stream, though. I am, yeah. I'm going to do some stuff off stream. I'm going to try and basically, uh, I don't want to say grind, but like, go through the areas that we've already been. May I give some advice? Heal more often. <laughs> more often uh i'll be also i can imagine some other things i could definitely do better um other lessons i feel like i learned i should have learned 
Sleep is great. I should probably have slept a little bit more and like, yeah, once once I start running out of spells. Um, I also... Hmm, swapping between the equipment is kind of annoying. Rest constantly as long as you can. There's no rations as far as I'm aware. Magic users. Give them all slings and teach them sleep. Slings never run out of ammo. It's a little late now. The characters are created. <laughs> I could just redo them all, but I'd like to try and continue with this party if I can until unless it's like really bad. Unless it's really, really bad. False. Blames. Blame the DM. I guess that. Mm, hmm. Developers, 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 developers. I get to blame the developers. Uh, I do wonder. Okay. Rucker cans. I am gonna check. Okay, so I have the spells done. I might also take another look at some of the equipment to see about, like, swapping for the longbow earlier and checking other things out to see what would be good. Jay? You're not joking about that, are you? One hit point per 24 hour period of rest? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is Mew under the, this is Mew under the barrel by the truck, right? Right, or whatever? That's what it is. I do remember that in uh, early editions you had to rest more, but just, uh, okay. Okay, okay. I will figure it out. I am gonna be playing this off stream. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing it a lot off stream. I, I wanted something I could play off stream a bit, because otherwise all I have is um, I got Yoshi's Island too, and that's something I've played before, so like I wanna play that off stream. Um, and also, I, I got to play some Donkey Kong. That's how I learned that my SNES controller, one of them is kind of busted, because it was kind of a, hey, um, you can go up with a swordfish, you know? And it's sort of a, what do you mean? I'm hitting up and it's not letting me go up. I need to go up. I don't know why it's not working. And then it's kind of a, oh, the controller is busted. Uh, <laughs> and, and then like actually looking at the controller and it's kind of a, oh, that's like, there's a weird crack on the side. It's like pushed in. No wonder things are fucky. I'm denying you Yoshi's know, Islands. No, I've already played. It's not like it's a fresh playthrough or anything. I can totally. There's three save slots. There are three save slots. Uh, I just have like a. I. It's not. No, I didn't destroy it. I didn't destroy the controller. I have destroyed zero controllers on my own. My dog destroyed my original PlayStation controller a bit. She chewed up the, um, the pads like the circular thingies, but it still worked. It just wasn't very nice feeling because there was like stripped apart. Um, I haven't destroyed any of the controllers. They came that way. My controllers work perfectly fine. My controllers work perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, thank you for the, thank you for the follow, Arrogant, Arrogant, um, Logician. I got my two, you're my 2000th follower. <laughs> Sorry for calling you out, but ah, uh, I've been, I've been waiting for 2000. <clears throat> Thank you. <sighs> mm -hmm. <sighs> and on today, on the day I'm playing retro, retro table top. <laughs> Play game and other platformer hell. And now I'm playing like, J not JRPG hell. I'm playing like TRPG hell. I'm playing TRPG hell. 
celebrate with Ronan. Oh, oh, it, wait, is she doing her like celebration soon too? Or not like, I'm not holding a celebration, but is she holding a celebration? Blasphemous? All I know about that is I think I've seen Ronan play a little bit of it. She's just, is she playing Lotus like right now? Is she playing? Okay, yeah, we're, we're doing that. We're doing that. <laughs> I want to see her play Lotus. She's probably been playing for what, like two hours? I don't know her schedule exactly, but she tends to start at like 11 o'clock-ish or 10 o'clock-ish my time. Yeah, so she's been on for like two-ish hours. It would also help if I actually started on time. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's been into the game for an hour? Okay. An hour of chatting, an hour of Zatsu then. Uh, actually, before that, I don't remember if I did this correctly. We'll find out in a minute. Okay. Schedule. Schedule, schedule. I'm not writing quite yet. Um, is this my updated schedule? I can't see anything. Everything's so small. Okay. So, tomorrow, it feels weird to say tomorrow I'm going to be streaming again, and it's going to be The Legend of Zelda, also on the NES, and I just realized I'm going to have to... Uh, it'll be fine. The NES is going to be fine. <laughs> and... I realized that there's actually like a map in the book that tells you where the first couple dungeons are, so maybe I'm actually going to follow the book a little bit. I mean, it's in it's in the manual. It's it's more so sometimes I do worry about like, oh, is it it does have trouble starting up sometimes, but it's I think it's more so the game's fault. Cause some games are like one in and fine, roughly, and then there are a couple others where it's like, oh, you know, you gotta you gotta wiggle a little bit, and then we have Dragon Warrior, which is like I still haven't gotten it to work yet. It, I can return it to the store if it doesn't work, but they apparently do like the whole Brillo cleaning thing, so like it looks fine, except maybe the pins and the cartridge might be like a little short, maybe. And I expect it's more of an issue of my 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 system. Uh, but yeah, so Legend of Zelda tomorrow, and on Sunday I will be back after binging on Final Fantasy XIV for like two days. I don't know what it's going to be, except it should not be Final Fantasy XIV, but I will be streaming Final Fantasy XIV sometime next week or the week after because there is the event going on. So I'm sorry for, for that, but at the same time, um, it's it's for you guys. It's for you guys so you can get the chocopuru. Chocopuru? The, the chocolate plant mount thing. A chocolate plant mouth. Uh, but I am planning on spending more time on Legend of Zelda. And I would like to spend more time on this. And that is going to be the plan. Also, I am going to be uh, active in Discord when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV. So, yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might just be like in the voice chat maybe or something like that for, for Final Fantasy XIV. I, I don't want to like inflict it on others for stream though. Uh, oh, oh, we finished After School Dice Club and I don't know what's going in that slot. So if you have any suggestions for what to watch um, or like discuss more about what we could watch for Monday, but I have some ideas. I have some concepts. I should, I should talk about them in the Discord too. I'll talk about them when I'm waiting in line in Final Fantasy XIV for the servers. Uh, but otherwise, we are going to raid Ron and Hostoria. She is... I, I can spell Hostoria. I can spell Hostoria. Uh, she's another green plant old lady, and she's playing the Lotus Metroidvania. I've already played that. I played that last year, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and since she also knows what's up with Lotus, I want to see her reactions to stuff, so I'm going to be sticking around there for a bit. If you like elves, if you like elves, you're, and if you like Metroidvanias, stick around for Lotus. Uh, thank you again for stopping by. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow night. Oh, you didn't start the raid until just now, so it's kind of a... Ah, I have to wait at least eight seconds. <laughs> Elves are always good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I'll just copy Azure's raid message. I'll just copy Azure's raid message. 
<laughs> Thank you guys for coming by. Have a good night.